dream layer will work on the next level body. Dream body or subtle layer. Few things I want you to know about this dream body or the dream layer. How or why any idea? Anybody who has got any insights about their dreams? Why? Any idea? Any special idea about the dreams? You are welcome. Sometimes I forget my dreams and sometimes I can remember. Yes, I'll answer. Why? Can you say anything about dreams? Well, I'm going to talk about some of the dreams why I realized. You can visit it. Oh, some of the dreams come know, some of the things either like if you're in a really certain time you see it tonight, the next day it does happen. Some of them don't have any meaning at all, they come and go. And you know, some of the things they said that it's more basically the subconscious thing and what really you're thinking about and what really you're probably trying to come into the dream. Mm -hmm. And the other people, you know, some of the things that really you might think is like a parallel world, it does happen. And it's truth and that sometimes they can come true and some that don't come true. Some of your dreams are held some Alright. First thing. Yes, something. Uh, sometimes I've noticed I play, I play all the characters in my dream. Mm -hmm. And act out things, but I'm everybody that is in the dream. It, it is me. Mm -hmm. And other times I, I don't know if I'm just partially awake or I'll be in the middle of a dream and I'll sort of, something will make me wake up. And I'll say, oh, well, that's not finished. I need to go back, and I'll go back. I'll go back into the dream and start doing it again. But then I forget ever how it ends, because then I go into a deeper sleep or something. When you remember, I am only playing the character of all the persons in the dream. You wake up from the dream. Have you observed? Mm -hmm. Now let us analyze. Dream is nothing but the expression of. Whatever you suppress, your suppressed, suppressed desire and fear, you suppress these two things. Whatever you suppress, when the steam pressure becomes too much, there is a safety valve which automatically opens and steam is released, the pressure is in a manageable limit. Same way, if your suppressions are too much, if you suppress the desire and the fear too much, 
it comes out automatically and gets released. First thing around the brain. Next thing, we are all bothered out to find, find out right dream or wrong dream. An important thing you need to understand any dream, if you can remember it with four colors, it is not dream, it is a vision. Early morning, when you are able to, when you remember, if you can remember in colors, see this is a very subtle technique. When you see the dream, you will always see only in colors. If you can remember the colors clearly, be very clear, it is something related to vision. It is bringing some message, it is the ray of light from super conscious. It is not dream. If you see any divine personalities, master, god, guru, remember, try to remember, if it is in multicolor, then be very clear, it is a vision. But if it is just two color, or black and white, forget, forget about it, it is nothing to do with vision. It is a usual dream. It is a usual, just dream. Uh, it can teach you, it can bring you intuition, it can give you more clarity or some information about the incident, anything it can do. If it is, if you can remember with four color, it is not from subconscious, it is a ray of light from superconscious. If it is just two color, when you remember, then it's a subconscious. What do you mean, color? Like, for, for instance, I see you in my dream. I remember your orange robe. Is that one color? Not only orange robe. Yeah. Are you able to remember the other things, colors of the other things? Colors of the other things? Are you able to see? Are you able to remember just like this four color? Then it's a vision. If you are not able to see that, then it is dream. That is that. Do the visions always have to make sense? Because I can't remember right now if they're in color or not, but my dreams don't really make sense. <coughs> Just jump you see, if it is four color, surely it will make sense. make sense. If it is not, it will not make sense. Okay. It has no sense. What if it's not colored at all? It's just thought process. Make more then, sense. then it's just a steam going out. <laughs> Extra steam is getting. If you need to less dream. <laughs> you, need to, you need to dream less. It is just actually when the steam is too much, if the too much of suppression is there of fear and the greed, automatic there's automatic mechanism which opens automatic safety valve which opens and releases the steam. And automatically you maintain your steam pressure. The automatic safety valve is what we call dream. Uh, yes. Is there, is there any significance of seeing death or somebody dying? Or any, you know, there is no other significance except this four color and two color. No other meaning, interpretation for any dream. Should be like just ignore the rest of it. Right? Yes. Simply. Yeah, because people say like when your dreams of falling, falling, falling or something makes some sense. No. None of them got, uh, got any sense. Um, so people think that vitamin D6 can mm. increase our ability to have dreams. Oh, I do not know about the medical part. But according to me, the number of the dreams number, if it is less, less you are more healthy. <laughs> yes. If you are dreaming less, you are more healthy. Yes. People who don't dream, period, they like they never have a dream. They just go to sleep and wake up. They're no, it can never be. Only an enlightened master can be like that. Mommy, my husband says that every day. <laughs> <laughs> 
astral body actually enters into the physical body by force. See the subtle body. It enters into the physical body by force. It means the physical body also don't have so much of awareness. It gives place. So people that bite their nails all the time, ah, yes. it's the same thing? The same. But what causes it, what causes that to happen? Like what are the some things that cause that? Suppressed, that's so hard to see that suppression, suppressed desire and the fear. If it becomes too much, it is just on the verge level. Any moment you can become this or that. That is the thing which keeps you in the restlessness. Um, um, whenever I have a bad dream, why is it that I If, if the, some bad is going to happen in the waking state, it comes in the dream. You mean? No, when I'm dreaming. Mm. And something bad is like I'm about to fall off a cliff or whatever it is. You wake up. I, real, I realize and I say, I'm not going to fall off the cliff. Mm. And then I either change what happens or I wake up. Ah, you see, in the peak of greed, in the peak of uh, desire and the peak of uh, fear, you wake up. Because desire and fear brings you to the, your consciousness, brings you to the present moment. The moment you are you come to the present moment, you wake up. And many times people come and tell me, I had one such wonderful dream song. I was seeing that person whom they want to see. Suddenly they wake up. <laughs> they come and come and go, and you come. So <laughs> why some dreams come true, some don't come true? That's all. If you can remember in the fourth color, it will come true. Otherwise, it won't come true. It will never come true. Any two color dream will never come true. You can do research on it, your dreams. Yes. Sometimes you do have a dream that you like and you want it to continue. And then <laughs> that is what. <laughs> yes, you see, that is what the deep desire or the deep fear will bring you to the present moment. The moment you come to the present moment, you are awake. You are out of the dream. That is what I mean. When you live totally, your grief comes to maximum. Then you fall in the present moment. You fall in the present moment. You are out for a single moment. You get a glimpse of the higher consciousness. Whenever you fall in the present, you come out. You come out. 